Hello everyone. Today I will continue the MM wave challenge at 5G. As you remember, as a previous video, I talk about the pass loss and what is the difference between uh, pass loss and 5G uh, coverage area, and the solution was massive MIMO as lambda or the distance or spacing between antenna will be more small so we can increase number of layers or antenna and we can compensate the bar loss issue at mm wave frequency today i will talk about another challenges like diffraction and reflection and ability at 5g uh, diffraction and reflection wave as we know at higher frequency the wave lenses are so short so they interact more with surface and the scattering and the reflection have a, a much greater effect on coverage so the coverage of mm wave will be small will be small than the sub 6 or sub 1 coverage so we need to take this issue at in, into consideration when we use uh, uh, mm wave like 24 26 28 39 gigahertz now i will talk about the mobility and as you we know mm wave frequency can be characteristic by mobility. Mobility is dependent on Doppler shift. Okay, what is the Doppler shift? If we need to remember what is the Doppler shift, remember this equation: F D equal F C V over C. Where is the F D is the carrier frequency? F C. Sorry, it's carrier frequency and if and if d is a doppler frequency but if we not remembered yet what is the doppler frequency As <coughs> v is velocity and Doppler effect is directly related to coherence time so what is a T coherence equal approximately 1 over 2 FD and F is the Doppler frequency and T is the coherence so coherence time is defined as the time the time at which the radio channel can be assumed to be constant the radio channel so its performance does it change with time so if we need to know what is the coherence time, coherence time is the time the radio channel can be assumed to be constant or its performance doesn't change with time. This time impacts the equalization process in the receiver. So the coherent time decreases with increasing speed. For example, for example, to drive with 100 km per hour and maintain the link at carrier frequency like 2.3 gigahertz the coherent time will be equal to millisecond this means the radio channel can be assumed to be constant at 2 milli second or two reference sample need to be embedded in the signal to reconstruct the channel okay 
so if we need to uh, define what is the coherence time we can say coherence time decrease at high frequency so if we need to know what is the coherence time coherence time following the previous session will be this at high frequency so the radio channel will be changed at small time so at cm wave and at mm wave the doppler shift is around 100 hertz at walking speed and this is increased the with higher velocity so coherence time decrease significantly making the use of semi wave and mm wave frequency in high mobility scenario inefficient this is the problem this is the problem of mm wave at mobility so 3gb <coughs> sorry as so 3gb at initial focus standardization the 5g new ready is called non standalone and use mm wave like Fryzen for wireless access not mobility so due to the previous uh, reason at mobility mobility it's not compatible with mm wave frequency so we need to make mm wave for fixed wireless axis so fixed wireless axis use mm wave frequency like 28 gigahertz and the example of that Fryzen at fixed wireless axis so the conclusion is can use fixed wireless accent depend on mm wave and multi will be issue at mm wave or we can say higher mobility higher mobility will be issue at mm wave thank you